y'all welcome back to my channel why did you get on here today and do an exercise video working out at home with no equipment these are things that I do when I'm at hotels when weather's bad and I can't get to the gym when weather's bad and you don't want to get out and walk some days you just don't want to leave the house and these come in handy when I do these I stay in really good shape I don't lose any muscle from not going to the gym with these you can really build with them so I'm gonna jump right into this okay the first one push-ups y'all push-ups work your entire upper body the chest the arms in through here my favorite I love this right here and back and I'm gonna show you some variations I will tell y'all a couple of years ago I was at dinner with a friend and she works out but her body her upper body looked extra good and I said what are you doing she said all I'm doing is push-ups she was doing 10 sets of 10 man push-ups on her toes through the day so I did that y'all <laughs> I built up so much strength and definition in my upper body it's hard and um, you can start just start on your knees you may never get past your knees and that's fine you can build with that if I'm on my knees, I'm doing at least three to four sets, at least three, usually 12 to 20, depending on my fitness at the time. Then try a couple on your toes and go down to your knees. Go up on your toes, do as many of those as you can, and then drop your knees and finish out. If I just do that when I'm on vacation, I lose nothing. Okay, second for triceps, triceps push-ups i will tell y'all these are hard watch your shoulders i never can do them all and never on my toes your elbows are in and your hands are like this start on a wall start on something tall i'm going to point y'all over here to my cedar chest and show you how i do them when i'm at home the tricep is a small muscle so it can't take a whole lot of weight so you don't feel bad if you're up on a wall doing this and I just get down on my cedar chest with my hands in, shoulders back and down, and then just lower and lift. And if that doesn't feel like enough, you can bounce. Oh yeah, I can feel that. Okay, my next exercise is dips. The only thing you need is something sturdy, and I mean sturdy, not a chair. A cedar chest is what I do. If I'm out of town, a lot of times I'll do this on the bathtub. Okay, and you're going to shoulders back and down, and just the heel of my hand is right here. And I'm sliding my behind off, shoulders back and down, you can hurt a shoulder. And then you're gonna lower and lift, no lower than where your arms are at right angles, and go up and down. And until you can do that, use your legs to help you okay and that's all the arms we're gonna go on to legs we're gonna do tall box presses tall box press is my absolute favorite favorite exercise for the legs even more than anything i do in pump i'm gonna do it on this tall box and i will link these down below i love my tall box it's sturdy it's got these four legs don't just do it on a normal step because they can tilt real easy and I'm gonna put it right by a wall. Put your hand on something, put your foot right in the center of this. And really, you don't have to go down to get more, you can go down, and then just go up and down. And when you do, watch your knee, be sure all the pressure's back here. Everything should be back here. And if you, sometimes I'll put my hand right here on my hip, and that makes sure that I focus on that area. Put your hand on whatever you wanna be focused on and that will shift your focus back there and you just go up and down three sets all of this is pretty much three sets of you know to failure the next one is squats and i will tell y'all i have a hard time doing squats with good form no matter what and at pump lately i've been doing it with no weights you do not have to do squats with weights and you will feel it if you have knee problems or lower back problems this is your friend or put you know books down something to lift your heels rest your heels on it this is just a two by four you can get these at lowe's or home depot and then when you go down shoulders back and down and just carefully go down and if you feel your knee stop so look up good form on these but you look up keep your head up and go down and kind of keep your honey back and don't go any lower than your knees 
You can also do plies with your toes on the end of this, or you've got your feet out and go down in a plie. This is a great exercise and way easier on your back. Next is wall squats, and these are just good anywhere. And you're gonna get against a wall, shoulders back and down, and putting your feet pretty far out, so be sure you have some good, you know, grippy tennis shoes, and then you're gonna slide down. Put your hand on your quads, because this is gonna be working your quads. And I'm already trembling. This is really hard. I need these. You be sure that your knee does not go out over your toe on those. Next, lunges. And I would say lunges are one of your very best exercises, but be so careful. And I should say dips. I never do a lunge because when you go out forward on a lunge, it's real easy to hurt your knee. So I like to do dips and hang on to something. If you're not used to it and your balance is shaky, step back. And then you go down with your shoulders back and down, not leaning forward, and put, put your hand right here. So this is where all your focus will be. And again, hold on to something. But lean back. Do not lean forward over that leg. You can do static lunges where you're just going up and down. Or you can step back. And again, three sets until you're worn out. Okay, next, a great throwing it back to the 80s, floor work, table work, nothing lifts like table work. And I'm gonna show you my favorite. I got this from the firm years ago. Okay, shoulders back and down on your hands, or you can go down to your elbows. Then you're gonna take one of your feet, point your toe towards the ceiling, and you're gonna come, it should be pointing towards the ceiling. You can flex it to get it to make it harder. You come up on your hand, <laughs> you come up on your hands. That is hard. And I'm feeling those. So that is a great exercise. Then last for the legs is bridges. And they are so good. And you're just gonna lay in the floor, shoulders down away from your ears. And then you're just gonna go back up onto your shoulders and lift your honey. And then you hold it or you can lift and lower and just put your hand on your behind so that you are focused there and on the back of your legs. And then to make it harder, you can take this leg up and just lift on this leg that's down on the ground. Let's talk about some ab exercises. Of course, crunches, reverse crunches where you're back like a crunch but lifting your behind. And you can put your hand under your back to support it and then just lift your, lift your hips. That's a good one. And probably the most effective exercise for your core is a plank. Shoulders back and down, or you can hurt a shoulder. So squeeze your shoulder blades together, come up on your toes, and then you're gonna have your behind down. You should look like a straight line. Do this in front of a mirror, and you can time yourself on these. I, I just count. I count to a certain amount of time. And, I, and at the beginning, you can stay on your knees. Just stay on your knees till you work up to come in up on your toes. Another variation to make it harder is go up and down on your toes. You can also walk up to on your hands, shoulders back and down. And when you're doing that, just be pulling your stomach in tight. Okay, my favorite plank exercise is the side plank for pulling in that waist and nothing pulls the waist in like this. Come on your side and you can have your feet like this, and one in front of the other, and come up, or you can have them on top of each other, shoulders down, protect that shoulder. Shoulders back and down and then come up. And you just want to look like you're in a straight line. Look in a mirror. It's hard to tell by feeling. And then you can hold your, they always have us hold our hand up. I'm not sure why. If you need a variation of that, put one knee down. Put one knee down and just hold this up and pulse up. And you can just feel that waist pulling in. And then when you get this down, which that's hard for me. I haven't done these in a long time. You can lift a leg. And then that works your hips too. Another great ab exercise is a banana pose. And to do that, I got this off Kathy Friedrich. 
you're gonna lay down flat. You're gonna lay down flat, pull your shoulders down and your shoulder blades together and come up and just hold it like that. And I'm already trembling, <laughs> I need some work. Yeah, that's great. And for back, I don't do a lot of back at home, but I'm gonna show you a really good one. Okay, you're gonna lay on your stomach and put your hands folded like this and rest your chin on them. And then we're gonna lift and down. Come up and hold it and down. You can also put your hands straight out in front of you and come up and that's really hard too. Those are my favorite exercises with no equipment. If you have some favorite at home, no equipment exercises, put those down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day, bye.